Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Suthar and today we are going to learn about counting. Okay, now in this today's session we will discuss uh, what is a pigeon hole principle and uh, what is a permutation and some of the examples. Now first uh, let us understand what is uh, what is a famous pigeon hole principle. So it says that if there are many pigeons and a few pigeon holes, okay. If there are many pigeons and few pigeon holes, then there must be some pigeon holes occupied by two or more pigeons. Again, if there are more pigeons, okay, and a few pigeon holes, so then there must be some pigeons, uh, pigeon holes occupied by two or more pigeons. Okay, so here you can see that in this image, uh, we have how many pigeons? I think we have ten pigeons. Okay, and uh, how many pigeon holes? Nine. So there is at least one, okay, in which uh, two pigeons has to be there. Okay, fine. Now, what is an extended pigeon hole principle? Now, if we extend this, so in general, if the number of pigeons is much larger than the number of pigeon holes, fine, then this uh, pigeon hole principle can be extended as this. If n pigeons are assigned to m pigeon holes, so the number of pigeons are larger. Uh, then this uh, pigeon holes okay then one of the pigeon hole must be occupied by this at least uh, this number uh, that is the integer part of n minus 1 divided by m plus 1 let us discuss example so the question is if seven colors are used to paint 50 bicycles okay then at least how many bicycles will be of same color so here we have seven colors and 50 bicycles so what will be n and what will be m we will use extended pigeon hole principle okay so whenever the number are more so that is the pigeons and the less numbers are that is the pigeon holes okay so here 50 bicycles that means uh, they are this pigeons so let's say n equals to 50 that is pigeons and m equals to 7 that is pigeon holes now by extended uh, pigeon hole principle there has to be at least uh, this many number so the, uh, that is this integer part of n minus 1 by m plus 1 bicycles of same color okay now what is n just uh, uh, put the values of n and m so n is 50 and m is 7 so 50 minus 1 by 7 uh, that is the integer part plus 1 now 50 minus 1 that is 49 49 by 7 so 7 so 7 integer part of 7 is 7 itself so 7 plus 1 8 so so if we have seven colors and 50 bicycles so at least eight will be of same color by this extended pigeon hole principle let us discuss another example uh, among 100 people at least how many of them were born in same month now can you just uh, guess this among 100 people at least how many of them were born in the same month now here we have 100 now instead of 100 if we have uh, lakhs of crores of data then can you tell me so it will be more difficult okay so again we will use this extended pigeon hole principle so here n equals to 100 and m that is born in same month how many months are there so there are total 12 months so let us take m equals to 12 so by extended pigeon hole principle this uh, there there is at least this many people who were born in the same month now let us substitute the values of n and m so n is 100 and m is 12 so 100 minus 1 by 12 now 100 minus 1 divide by 12 so that is 99 by 12 plus 1 so 99 by 12 that means 8 point something okay so that is the integer part so just we will take 8 so 8 plus 1 9 so the answer will be 9 so so among 100 people you can say that at least 9 will be born in the same month so hence 9 were born in the same month now let us discuss what is a permutation now any arrangement of a set of n objects in a given order is called permutation taken all at a time so any arrangement of uh, any r uh, here r is less than or equals to n of these objects in a given orders called an r permutation or a permutation of n taken r at a time uh, let us discuss examples now consider the set of uh, four letters that is a b c and d now what will be the permutation okay and so just see what is a permutation it is the arrangement so a b c d okay so b d c a d c b a a c b d all are the permutations of four letters taken all at a time 
so it is an arrangement okay now in same manner for three letters so b a d a c b d c b o they all are permutations taken three at a time and in same manner a d b c c a they are the permutations of four letters that is a b c d taken two at a time now let us uh, discuss the theorem now the number of permutations of n objects taken r at a time uh, so we have the formula that is this npr equals to uh, this is the notation npr that is permutation okay permutation of n objects taken r at a time so that is npr now p uh, it is uh, the second notation is p and r so that means permutation of n objects uh, taken r at a time so it is the formula so n n minus 1 n minus 2 up to n minus 1 plus n minus r plus 1 and that is n factorial upon n minus r factorial so and this is important that we will need now permutation with repetition so if we have permutation and with repeating something so then the number of permutations of n objects taken r at a time provided this m1 m2 mn are repeating okay so then what we will do so then npr uh, it is the same notation then what we will do uh, npr that is the npr and divide by whatever the factors are repeating we will just divide it by their factorial so npr divide by m1 factorial m, m into m2 factorial up to mn factorial and that is n factorial upon n minus r factorial that is npr and it is the same m1 factorial m2 factorial up to mn factorial and this is also important now let us discuss examples uh, how many five digit numbers can be formed if repetitions are not permitted okay so uh, out of five digits uh, how many five digits numbers can be formed okay uh, and we haven't uh, given any specifications okay so out of five digits now first digit how many total digits are there total we have zero to nine okay so total ten digits are there now we want to construct a five digit number okay so first digit can be any of the nine digits uh, one two up to nine because zero cannot be there why because if we start from zero then it will become a four digit so out of ten digits uh, this first digit can be uh, of any nine digit okay fine so in same manner this second digit can be any of the nine remaining digit suppose we have taken one digit so we'll have remaining nine digit so this second digit can be uh, can be any of the nine digit okay in same manner a third digit can be any of the remaining eight digits and in same manner fourth digit can be any of the remaining seven digits and last fifth digit uh, can be any of the remaining six digits so hence the total number of permutations are what this uh, first digit for nine cross nine into eight into seven into six so these many ways these many ways we can construct a five digit number let us discuss another example how many four digit uh, numbers can be formed out of the digits okay here we have given the digits 1 2 3 4 5 7 8 and 9 so total eight digits are there uh, uh, except six okay so and the condition is if no re repetition is permitted and second how many of these will be greater than 3000 so first for no repetition it is very easy just like the previous one so out of eight digit okay we want to construct how many digit number four digit number so first can be uh, can be done uh, in how many ways eight ways then into seven into six into five so one six eight zero ways so there are one six eight zero ways we can construct four digit number then then the second question is how many of uh, these will be greater than three thousand okay so as you can see that this it is a four digit number so we have unit place tenth place hundred place and thousand place so here the number uh, the condition is the number must be greater than 3000 so uh, it is greater than 3000 so that means this thousand place have some limitations and what are they so this first digit can be filled out of how many numbers uh, uh, we can fill uh, using this four five six seven eight and nine okay so this one two three cannot be there so four five six seven eight nine fine because it is greater than 3000 so, uh, in same manner second digit can be filled out how many ways uh, total how many digits are there total eight digits are there we have taken one 
so it will be of seven remaining then third digit can be filled out how many ways it can be filled out six ways okay and in same manner four digit can be filled out of how many remaining digit five so hence the total number of ways are six into seven into six into five that is one to six zero ways let us discuss another example uh, find the number of permutations obtained by arranging all the letters of the word combination okay so here we will use that formula so first count how many letters are there so in combination you can see that 11 letters are there okay so the total number of uh, so the total permutations will be what uh, will be 11 factorial fine but you can see that here some of the uh, letters are repeating so which are they so here the letters this o you can see that o is repeating i is repeating and n is repeating okay so they are repeating two times fine uh, all three are repeating two times so what will be the fi final permutation so the final permutation will be this 11 factorial divided by see you can see that there are how many uh, repetitions there are three repetitions by that formula uh, there will be m1 m2 and m3 so o is repeating how many times uh, it is repeating two times so just divide by two factorial now i is repeating two times so just again divide by two factorial and in same manner n is also uh, repeating two times so again divide by two factorials now suppose this t is repeating four times so all we have to do just uh, multiply this into uh, so just multiply this factor into four factorial okay so it will be the answer thank you Thank you.